instinct. Someone walks up to the podium and silence happens. That's awesome. I wish that happened when I taught freshman chemistry. So welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Robin Garrell. I'm the Vice Provost of Graduate Education and Dean of the Graduate Division. And I'm so excited to welcome all of you, our contestants, our judges, and our fabulous audience, uh, to Grad Slam. Really appreciate your coming. This is the final round of the competition on our campus, but there's more after this. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the competition before we get started. And I know our contestants are very anxious to get going, so I won't take too long. The idea behind Grad Slam is to highlight the really wonderful work that graduate students are doing at UCLA. It's intelligent, it's creative, it's innovative, and it's impactful. And they now have a challenge to tell you about it, you who are not in each of their fields, because you can't be in all of their fields, and tell you about their work, get you excited about it, help you understand it, and get you as thrilled about it as they are, and uh, help you appreciate it better. So their challenge is to present their work in understandable and engaging ways, in three minutes, with no more than three slides. The first UC-wide Grad Slam was held uh, last year, 2015. It was inspired by similar competitions that are happening around the country. You've often heard of like a three-minute dissertation competition. Or sometimes they're five minutes, but three, three is a little bit more challenging. The first ones in the UC were held at San Diego and Santa Barbara, Riverside, and UCSF. Uh, but last year, all the UC grad deans got together and said, we need to have it on each of our campuses, and then let's go head to head. We're a very collegial bunch, but we're also just a little bit competitive. So tonight, what we're going to do, we have 10 contestants. Uh, we're going to identify four winners. First place, second place, third place. They're going to be identified by our judging panel here, whom I'll tell you about in just a moment, and an audience choice. Okay, so you all have a role to play in determining one of our winners. Now, only the first place winner will go on to the system-wide competition. There are fabulous prizes, swag and things, of course, but also fellowships. I mean, that's the stuff that really counts. And there's fellowships here at the campus level, and then there's a big fellowship at the system wide level as well. So I'll give a few housekeeping details to tell you how things are going to go. Uh, for family members and friends who couldn't be here tonight, we actually have a, a live broadcast of the event. Okay. I don't know if we have that up there or not. We don't. Uh, but they can watch online if they go to the Grad Division website, they can find it. Uh, we're, we're live, so it'll be on camera. There's a camera over here, and there's other things going on, cameras over there. Uh, so what that means is there's a little bit of a burden on you, the audience, right? Which means that if you're holding up your cell phone and doing selfies, you might find yourself with your selfie on your camera, in the camera. So no selfie sticks, please, thank you. Um, but if you're on social media, we encourage you to tweet, Instagram, and Snapchat away. And the hashtags are, very easy, all caps, UCLA, Grad Slam, and hashtag Grad Slam. And I think, are they displayed up there? Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, so please go ahead and get that on social media. As you may see, there's a timer clock located uh, straight ahead of me and over your shoulders uh, that all of our competitors will be able to see. It's a countdown clock, three minutes. They have exactly three minutes before a buzzer will sound. There's a penalty if they go over the time limit. So I know they've all practiced and so on. So I'm not worried about them going over time. Uh, between each presentation, our judges will have to do a little bit of scoring. And I'm going to encourage them to not get too loquacious, because this isn't the moment for deep feedback. I mean, we need some numbers here. Um, we will collect those. And the accounting firm, no, no. Uh, we have a group of folks outside who will uh, collect the scores. And, uh, but to keep you amused um, and to get help, more importantly, to help you get to know our presenters, I'll be uh, having them come up here and we'll ask them a few questions and chat for just a little bit. Right? So we've got 10 presentations. Now, you're going to be able to vote. And we're going to give you detailed instructions on voting, but you can vote by phone. How cool is that? But if you don't have your phone or you don't like voting by phone like that, uh, we're going to have hard copy ballots available. And we're going to do that right after the last competitor finishes, but before we have an intermission break. And so we'll give you instructions about that. Uh, at the intermission, you'll be able to go back, uh, graze a little bit of the food in the back of the room, and uh, the bar will be open. Okay. The main food is going to happen later, so you've got to wait for that. Okay. 
So uh, now I have the pleasure of introducing our distinguished panel of judges, and they are truly all distinguished, but I won't go through their, their detailed bios. So, but I am going to ask them to turn, stand around, and maybe wave as I announce your name. So I'm going to start uh, closest to me and work down the table. So closest to me, we have David Skaberg, who is the Dean of Humanities and Professor of Asian Languages and Cultures. Thank you, David. All right. Uh, next, we have Wesley Thorne, who is the director of the UCLA Career Center. So he knows something about professional development. All right. Next, I'm delighted to introduce Linda Gackray, who's a partner in Owens and Gackray and a board member of the UCLA Foundation. Thank you very much, Linda. <laughs> Next, we have Catherine Atchison, who's vice provost at UCLA for new collaborative initiatives and also professor in dentistry. Okay. Working my way down my list, then we have Kim Williams, who is a consultant in governance, strategy, and leadership development. Thank you very much. And then we have Ramona Cortez Garza, who's executive director of UCLA State Government Relations. Thank you, Ramona. And then we have Professor Greg Payne, who is associate dean for the biosciences and a professor of uh, all things bio. Right? <laughs> So they've got the hard work to do, and we'll appreciate your patience during the interludes. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. Uh, also, before we get started with the first presenter, I'd like to recognize our Grad Slam co-sponsors, who are the Office of the Chancellor and the Grad Student Association, who help us out. So thank you very much for your support. And one last bit of recognition. I want to recognize two grad students who were finalists last year in the Grad Slam. And they were so gracious in agreeing to provide some help to this year's con uh, contestants and to reach out to our new students. They both came back. They helped uh, with our information sessions. Uh, they demoed their presentations and they answered questions from the student attendees who were still thinking about where they'd enter Grad Slam. And I, I'm going to give them a special thanks because this year we have many more competitors than last year. So clearly they did their job really well. We have small gifts for them. Uh, the first one is for Sarah Hurstman, who was the third place finisher and the Audience Choice Award winner last year from the Neuroscience Interdepartmental Program and Psychology. So, Sarah. And second, we have Oscar Campos, who is one of our finalists for molecular biology. So whether you're a student who's presenting today, a member of our judging panel, or an observer, we appreciate your coming to support these brave and brilliant students. 